When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. So uh, Shana says, hey, Ben and Kelly, my best friend just got engaged. And my friends and I have been compiling some advice for newlyweds. Okay. For example, my husband said that his one piece of advice for married men is if your wife or girlfriend ever says, do you think she's too skinny? Your your response is always, yes, absolutely, she's too skinny. (laughs) Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Make it okay. Anyway, that was his. But I thought it would be fun to get as many pieces of advice for newlyweds as we can because we've only been married a year ourselves, so we don't have a lot of experience to impart. Is this something you can toss out to your listeners? And based on both of your own personal experiences, what is the best piece of marriage advice you can give someone? Oh. Thanks so much. Love your show. Oh, all right. So so this is, uh, I, I think this is good because, you know, I think everybody could probably impart some uh, advice and this would be a good thread to start even on Facebook at Ben and Kelly show. I've seen people do this a lot at like bridal showers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and sometimes at, at weddings, you know, like people write on cards and leave it in a little envelope for them, and to which I think is is really cute for the couple to be able to read those together. I mean, I would say have grace and be willing to grow with that person. Like, and and by have grace, I mean, look, this is the person you signed up with, you know, through life. So it's the it's the peaks and the valleys. You know, everybody's going to make a mistake. Have grace. And, underst- and have their moments. Yeah, yeah, and 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 understand that everybody's human. Everybody makes mistakes, including you. And so to uh, be willing to grow and mature with that person, because who you are when you get married is not going to be who you are, you know, five, ten, fifteen years from then. My advice might ruin this segment for the rest of eternity. Oh, communication. We we always say that, right? It's like, well, if people communicated, they wouldn't yeah. need us. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. I mean, it's, it's very basic, but you, you need to talk to each other about whatever it is. Don't let it fester and keep festering yeah. and keep festering because that is how resentment builds. Oh, and yeah. then it gets much bigger than it ever needed to be. Uh, I think it's funny. So talk it out. Uh, that is good. That is good for sure. Lisa texts in and says... Your listeners are going to ward off drama while we appreciate the fa- faith. Have you met us? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Again, she's she's driving home the point. Like, we wouldn't be here in this moment right. with this segment on a regular basis if you all did that. Yeah. Well. Would, so, OK, would love to hear your just little bit, uh, tidbit of advice that you have for uh, those maybe getting newly married, newly engaged, just embarking on the journey together. Uh, uh, Derek Hossenpepper has a good one. Never stop dating your spouse. For sure. You do need to reserve time to go on dates yeah. as a married couple, even if you've been married for a very long time. Yep. Life can get hectic and kind of pull you apart. You can become like two ships passing in the night. We are like, we're there right now. You yeah. have to keep dating your spouse. For sure. 502-795-1997. Uh, let's, let's build the list, okay? So we'd love to hear your story, your advice. Uh, we'll do that with group therapy on 9970JX. So Shayna has a best friend who's getting married and is wanting to impart some good wedding uh, marriage advice to her. Uh, and I'll tell you, so far, there have been some decent ones, pieces of advice tossed out on Facebook. Kimberly, you, hand, you handle disagreements with your family. He handles disagreements with his family. Ooh, okay. That don't, sounds like it's coming from a place. A uh, place of experience, yeah. She says, uh-huh. don't get cross-involved. And if correcting needs to happen, let it be by that person with their side of the family. Okay. All, All right. right. And Mary says, you know, this is pretty typical. Uh, never go to bed angry with each other. <sighs> okay. But then she says, but even better, don't get married, LOL. Mary, you, you was really good. You could have stopped at the first line. I mean, I'm, I, I'll am i say that, you know, I... My wife and I have gone to bed angry at each other. I mean, it's... So in the morning, are you still angry? Uh, I or mean... does that give so, you the time you needed to cool off? Yeah, sometimes it's just that break, that pause, and then you wake up and you can clearly think about the facts and, you know, that I'm still wrong and, you know, all that stuff. So. Oh, well, at least you know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Melissa! 
I would just say key to separation, too, at times, to not want to be with a spouse 24-7. I believe that's what ruined my relationship of almost 17 years. We were together all the time and never went out with just our friends by ourselves, never just done anything for just ourselves. We were always together. So at the, so. you're like, okay, yes, keep dating your spouse, but at the same time, don't lose sense of your own identity. Yeah, have some me time, yeah. have some friend time, all that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's right. good. Melissa, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, Missy, what's your advice? My advice would be to um, know that apologizing doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrong, but <laughs> that you know you hurt the other one's feelings. Yes, that's a good one because that's so many people just don't want to lose, and then they can't Correct. apologize, and that's not good. Yeah, that is. All right. Well, hey, thank you, Missy. Appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Aaron is going through a marriage class right now. Oh, wow. So they said, wives, cheer on your husbands. Husbands, cherish your wives. Like just a, a pretty yeah. simple attitude right. towards your wives. And and oh, here's another good one. Uh, Brittany says, always kiss each other goodbye and good night." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Something simple like that can yep. keep the connection. No, I like that. I, yeah. I always I always make sure to uh, give my wife a kiss when I'm leaving for work, even though it's super early in the morning. And I know she's not even awake, but it's just that little thing for sure. Yeah. Uh, Jessica says, take accountability for your role in disagreements. Mm. Saying I'm sorry is not an apology. A lot of people had mentioned that. But you also need to take accountability for your role in, you know, your fight. Yeah, and then uh, the number one seems to be um, communication. Yep. Yep, communication. And then finally, uh, Jackie's piece of wedding advice, marriage advice from Facebook. When an Amazon package arrives, pretend it didn't. Okay. Is that mostly geared towards the husbands? I feel like that's aimed towards yeah, just, one you know what? party it's just like, in the couple. It's just like in Star Wars. It's like, just, no, there's no package here. Look away. <laughs> These are, this isn't. No, this isn't for you. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Comes Amazon in a bra- package. There was not. And there was not one. No, I thought I just saw one on the porch. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Nope. Definitely did not. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, hey, thank you. If you want to add some, I think it'd be a good thread to continue on our Facebook page at Ben and Kelly Show. And, you know, regardless of whether you've been married one year, one month, or, you know, 20 years, I think it'd be good to even go back and take a look at some of those pieces of advice and just kind of re remember yeah. uh, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, Anna says, uh, reading the five love languages, love languages before your wedding is something we did. Yeah, make sure that you know how your partner needs to be loved. Uh, what is that? Earth, wind, fire, smoke, that is not and it. grass? No, that is not, no, that is not it. Oh. You need to read the book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, there you go. That is group therapy.